tell us your name and what you do? Oh, Paul Richards, uh, currently the observatory manager for Goes R, which is the next generation weather satellites, the R series, at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Uh, previously, uh, I was a mission specialist astronaut down in uh, Houston at uh, NASA's Johnson Space Center. Ever since I was five years old, I wanted to be an astronaut. I kept this under my bed when I was in grade school. Uh, I would take it out at night, every night, and I would look at it and go through and read it. And then I, I actually stopped telling people sometimes uh, what I wanted to do because they, they thought I was a little crazy. And I remember my uh, college roommate um, when you know I told them we went to Europe backpacking before I had the NASA job, and people said, "What do you, you know, what do you do?" What, you know, I said, "Well, I'm going to be an engineer for NASA." And he went to me. He goes, "You're not an engineer for NASA. You have to stop saying that." And I said, "No, I am up here. I am already. Um, they just don't realize it yet." I uh, called down to Goddard NASA to do an interview, and they just wanted me to send the resume. So I said, no, I want to drive down, and so I drove from Philadelphia to here, and I sat in front of um, the uh, personnel, and he said, well, you're acceptable, but we have a hiring freeze, and he took my resume and put on a huge pile of papers. I wrote 83 letters to every branch head uh, in the engineering directorate, and then started calling them uh, every two days, calling uh, a different um, branch head to try to find out where I can work on the center. Uh, so I was pretty determined to, to get here. Ended up in the, by the end of the day in the director of engineering's uh, office and uh, he said, you know, son, I did the same thing 20 years ago to get my job here at NASA. How would you like to have worked for NASA? And I said, well, you have a hiring freeze. He goes, we don't have a hiring freeze. We just have a limit on the number of people we hire. And in fact, they had hired uh, 700, they had a total of 758 employees, and they had 759 slots. So, I got hired. <laughs> I got into uh, designing um, tools to fix the Hubble, repair the Hubble, and uh, um, that the astronauts use, and that became my forte, and claimed the fame, and that's what got me into the astronaut office. So when I got up into orbit, we're in space, and I was still working on my checklist and doing calculations. And uh, Vegas, the pilot, who's a for, you know, and also a classmate of mine, and a rookie, reminded me. It's like, hey, Paul, unstrap, get out here and look out the window. We're in space. I was like, oh yeah, you know. So I, I went up and I uh, floated up to the uh, cockpit window, and it was uh, we launched at sunrise, so eight and a half minutes. It was noon over the Italian Alps, and uh, it was just amazing. It was just, like, better than 3D from 250 miles up, and uh, it, it, uh, that was a memory burned in my mind of just looking at, at the Alps and the sun shining on them, and, yeah, just realizing, I'm here, I'm in space, you know, and it was almost surreal and unbelievable. And we did two spacewalks. I was able to do one of the spacewalks outside. So it was a very uh, ambitious, exciting, and fun mission. You know, they say, well, you were in the right place at the right time, but I was there enough that the right time, you know, uh, happened to me. Um, because you have to spend a lot of time and a lot of energy to get in that place. I don't think it's just what you know. I don't think it's just who you know. It's who knows what you know. Um, be, because you, you have to, um, you know, get yourself out there, follow your dream, and get to enough people that can help you along the way. Any final words of wisdom or advice? Uh, have a goal, have a plan, uh, do your best, and have fun doing it. Um, and I think maybe with those four things, uh, you know, you can um, have success.